This video is brought to you by mywayteaching.com. Next topic is molecular orbital theory. In this molecular orbital theory, it was uh, developed by F. Hand and R. S. Mulliken in 1932. So, some of the features of this uh, molecular orbital theory: the electrons in a molecule are present in the various molecular orbitals as the electrons of atoms are present in the various atomic orbitals so how uh, how many electrons are present in a molecule are the electrons in a molecule are present in the various molecular orbitals as the electrons of the atoms are present in the various atomic orbitals okay the electrons in a molecule molecule are present in the various as the electrons of atoms are present in the atomic orbitals next one the atomic orbitals of comparable energies and proper symmetry combine to form a molecular orbitals. The atomic orbitals of comparable okay comparable energies and uh, proper symmetry combined to form combined to form molecular orbitals third one while an electron in an atomic orbitals it is similar to the atomic orbitals on the molecular orbitals like that while an electron in an atomic orbital is influenced by one nucleus see in the atomic orbitals orbitals this is the molecular orbital Okay, in the atomic orbitals, uh, uh, that is uh, which is influenced by is influenced, influenced, which is influenced by one nucleus. While in the molecular orbital, which is influenced by two or more nuclei correct and depending upon the number of atoms in the molecule next it is a monocentric while this is a monocentric this is a polycentric okay fourth one so number of molecular orbitals formed is equal to the number of combining atomic orbitals when two atomic orbitals combine two molecular orbitals are formed so if uh, two atomic orbitals combine means it means two molecular orbitals the equal 
two molecular orbitals are formed. It means two molecular orbitals are formed. Okay, it means two molecular orbitals are formed. Uh, that is uh, one uh, known as uh, bonding molecular orbital. Orbital. Second one is uh, non-bonding molecular orbital. Then the fifth one, the bonding molecular orbital. So here only I will write it, the bonding molecular orbital which is uh, lower energy and greater stability having lower energy and greater stability and uh, corresponding com comparing to that of the antibonding uh, molecular orbital so this is antibonding okay and the next top point is uh, just and the electron probability distribution on a nucleus in an atom is given in an atomic orbital we are saying that electron probability distribution around the nucleus next is the electron probability distribution around a group of nuclei in a molecule is given by a molecular orbital okay electronic distribution function distribution around the electron probability distribution that is electron probability distribution around the nucleus in an atom is given by around the nucleus in an atom is given by atomic orbitals see here which is given by atomic orbitals and the next is uh, while in the distribution electron electron probability electron probability distribution around a group Around a group, okay, electron probability distribution around a group of a nuclear nuclei in a molecule is given by molecular orbital. Okay. The next point is seventh point here. The molecular orbitals like atomic marker are filled in accordance with the Hofbar principle, obeying the Pauli's exclusion principle and Hunt's rule. So, molecular orbital, what it will uh, so the orbitals are filled in accordance with the Hofbar principle. principle also then again it will be obeying the Pauli's exclusion principle okay and it also hunts rule as the at atomic orbitals what they are agreeing so it is also agreeing the same things next is the formation of the atomic formation of a molecular orbitals uh, by linear combination of atomic orbitals. What do you mean by linear combination of atomic orbital? What is bonding molecular orbital? What is anti-bonding molecular orbitals? Okay, so this will ex I will explain you. So according to the wave mechanisms, first I will explain you what is linear combination of atomic orbitals. So according to the wave mechanisms, the atomic orbitals can be expressed by a wave function. We are expressing atomic orbitals by 
wave function correct so that is by using xi function so and it represents the amplitude of the uh, electron waves these are obtained from the uh, solution of the schrodinger equation that we know so since it cannot be solved for many uh, in the system containing more than one electron this can be applied to only one electron it cannot be applied to more than one electron so like molecular orbitals which is having uh, uh, more than one electron so this is difficult to directly uh, take a solution from this schrodinger wave equation so to overcome this problem we are using to this is an approximate method this is known as a linear combination of atomic orbital okay so this can be xi function or schrodinger wave equation this can be applicable to only one electron for only uh, one electron uh, which is present so that uh, we can this can be applicable but more than one electron uh, it cannot be applied that's to overcome this problem we are using so here uh, let us uh, consider for the homonuclear diatomic hydrogen molecule okay so here i will explain you how this happens consider the two atom atoms of a and b okay so this is a and b these are the two atoms each in the atom so ground state has one s one electron in one s orbital the atomic orbitals of these two atoms may be represented by xi function xi a and it's having xi b wave functions the formation of molecular orbitals may be described by the linear combination of atomic orbital that can be place by addition and subtraction we have to form the molecular orbital now molecular orbital so in the molecular orbitals means so by just by addition of the atomic orbitals or the subtraction of the atomic orbitals orbitals is equal to xi a plus or minus xi b so the molecular orbital sigma formed by the addition so that is uh, see here sigma by the addition of the wave functions and uh, next thing is uh, this is uh, subtraction of atomic orbitals is called antibonding okay so in the in here only what is means by bonding means xi a plus xi b when we are adding up so this is xi a minus xi b so this is a sigma this is a sigma star okay this is bonding and antibonding molecular orbital so as this is in the shown in the figure this is the atomic orbital this is the molecular orbitals are formed this is anti bonding orbitals higher energy than the at of atomic orbitals and these are the atomic orbitals bonding of orbital lower energy than that of the atomic orbitals okay and this is of the uh, atomic orbitals next Uh, this is the uh, where the formation of the molecular orbital linear combination of atomic orbitals